Moret lups clara, vita nova stiran stora, veritaset anima pura, korat kolok itu aura. Sanctus Deus omnipotens, sol demi it lumen dens, in eternum pax et sensus, anime nostrum sunt podus. Omnia nostra laudamus, corunum illumum stamus, dona nobis pacem ver. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Prayer Pathways, where we journey together in prayer, reflection, and meditation, seeking God's grace and guidance in our lives. Let us open our hearts to the Lord as we prepare to listen to His Word and allow it to transform us deeply. First reading, Ecclesiastes 3-11 For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 144, verse 1 to 4. Blessed be the Lord my rock, blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, and whom I trust, who subdues peoples under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you regard him, the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath. His days are like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Gospel reading, Luke 9, 18 to 22. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude, and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They replied, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them, and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly, and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Sermon Brothers and Sisters, today's gospel is one of profound significance for each of us. Jesus asks his disciples a simple yet deeply personal question, Who do you say that I am? While the crowds had many answers, Peter was the one who declared the truth. The Christ of God. But what does this mean for us today? Who is Jesus for you personally? How do you see him in your life? Is he just a figure of the past, a distant historical character, or is he the living Savior who walks with you every moment of your life? In response to Peter's declaration, Jesus reveals a startling truth. The path to salvation, the path of being the Christ, involves suffering, rejection, and ultimately, death on a cross, but also resurrection. This is the paradox of our faith. Suffering and death lead to life and victory. In our own lives, we face crosses, trials, hardships, moments of deep sorrow or confusion. But Jesus invites us to see these moments not as the end, but as the beginning of something new. Just as he rose from the dead, we too are invited to rise from our own struggles through faith in him. Today let us take a moment to answer Jesus' question for ourselves. Who do you say that I am? Is he your savior, your friend, your guide, your everything? This is the question that shapes the rest of our lives. Jesus is waiting for your answer. An answer not just in words, but in the way we live and love. Meditation. As we enter into a time of meditation, let us reflect on the seasons of our lives. Like the first reading says, for everything there is a season. Think about the season you are currently in. Are you in a time of joy, or are you struggling through a time of trial? In the stillness of your heart, invite Jesus into your season. 
Ask him to walk with you, to show you that in every time, whether it be of weeping or laughing, of losing or finding, he is with you. In this moment of silence, say to him, Jesus, you are the Christ in my life. Be with me in this season. Pause for silent meditation for about 30 seconds. Closing prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for your word that nourishes us and for the gift of your Son, Jesus, who is our Savior and our Christ. We ask you to help us recognize his presence in every season of our lives. May we never lose sight of the promise that, after every cross comes resurrection, after every trial comes grace. Help us to walk in faith, trusting in your perfect plan for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth today knowing that God is with you in every season, in every step, let your life be a reflection of the Christ who lives within you. God bless you.